Life in the Star Wars universe isn't always easy. In fact, it's almost never easy. And if there's one place that is particularly dangerous for both allies and enemies alike, it's in the home of one of the galaxy's most notorious gangsters. This is Star Wars Jabba's Palace, a love letter game which was designed by Justin Campanen and published by Z-Man Games, who helped sponsor this video. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Murphy, the Brothers Murph, and I am here with BoardGameGeek.com. Now, while I've got to watch my back, because I can't trust anyone in here, so let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on Star Wars Jabba's Palace. Star Wars Jabba's Palace is a social deduction game where players will be trying to guess which cards their opponents have and knock them out of the palace. Each game there will be an agenda which will dictate how the round is won. For your first game, it's suggested to start with the Exalted One agenda. In this agenda, the player with the highest ranked card at the end of the round will win. The 19 player cards will get shuffled and one will get set to the side. Each player will then get one card. On their turn, a player will draw one card and then play one of their two cards onto the table and resolve its effect. Throughout the round, players will be getting knocked out. The round will end when the deck is empty or if only one player is left, which means they win by default. If the deck is empty, players will then follow the rules conditions on the agenda card and the winning player or players will gain one victory point token. Once victory points are awarded, the cards are shuffled and each player gains one and the next round will begin. The game will end once one player has gained a certain number of victory points depending on the player count. Okay, so that's how the game plays, but let's talk about what these characters do. Let's start with the palace characters. When Jabba the Hutt is played, they will choose another player and if that player has a rebel card in hand, they are out. When Rancor is played, the player with the lowest card that isn't a zero is out. Boba Fett chooses another player and that player places their hand in front of Boba and then they draw a new card. When Bib Fortuna is played, no one may target that character. When you play the Mercenary, you will compare hands with another player and whoever has the lowest card is out. Salacious Crumb gets a look at another player's hand and the guard gets to guess a number card in a player's hand and if they guess correctly, that player is out. And now on to the Rebels. Luke is like Jabba, but if the player has a palace card, they are out. Leia Organa draws two cards from the deck and keeps one of the three. Lando Calrissian gets a look at another player's hand and then they may choose to swap hands with them. Chewie chooses a player and if they have a palace card or a four or less, they are out. R2-D2 can look at another player's hand or at the card set aside at the beginning of the round. C-3PO works like the guard, except if C-3PO is wrong, the other player gets to guess back. And finally, Han Solo has no effect when played, but if you have Han at the end of the round, you will gain one victory point. Star Wars Jabba's Palace really makes you learn your fellow players. It's a very tight game and you can be knocked out at any minute, so choosing who to target with your effects is very important. And there are agenda cards, so each game will be scoring a little bit different. Sometimes you want to have the highest cards, sometimes you want to have the most rebel cards. And these agenda cards change up the game a lot. And if Star Wars Jabba's Palace seems like a game you'd enjoy, be sure to check out its page at BoardGameGeek.com to learn more. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy, I've been here with Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Star Wars Jabba's Palace, a love letter game. Have a great day.